What's the first? One. Wine Sonka. Wine Sonka. Wine Sonka. Our whole basement's full of shoes and shoe boxes and stuff. And I, we, we have pretty much, you name it, we have it. So. Wine Sonka. Facing Young Tuck. Kennedy Meeks. Anthony Tucker. I've always thought that we were, uh, could be a competitive team. I thought that we had enough players to fight. Um, and as you see, you know, we're more than capable of maintaining the lead. Um, we just got to close it out strong and um, be better in that aspect. But there's not a huge talent gap between teams. We have a good team. Um, obviously, they they kind of loaded their roster up this year, but we're confident and we're comfortable with what we have. We think we can beat anybody. Yeah, I think both of our answers probably will be the same. I think Jackie. I would say Jackie for sure. Uh, I would say Mustafa played amazing as well. Um, he has one of the hardest tasks every game in Garden. Usually the best player if, if it's not Tuck. And um, I feel like he just really showed us a lot as a team. We have guys that are more than capable. I think a lot of guys are going to be able to step up at different times this year. Uh, do you remember laughing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course. You know, I just want, I just really want the fans to support us whether we do good or bad, you know, because that's going to give us confidence. Regardless, you know, when we see negative comments, maybe not us, but some players, you know, that can affect the way that they approach the game and um, can really deter them from being the best player they can be. So I just wanted to just kind of address it at the beginning so, you know, um, we can prepare for it for the season. It's been such a, it's been a long journey, but it's been something that is, I, I wouldn't trade for the world. Um, I've been able to play I've lived in, I think, 12 different countries. I've been um, been in Asia for six years now. I've gotten to kind of watch basketball grow in Taiwan um, from, you know, playing against the Dreamers in Fubon in the ABL to, to being here and then playing in the P League, playing in T1, coaching in T1. Um, so it's just, it's just been cool to, to watch basketball grow and evolve here. Um, and then just as far as my journey, like it's just, like I said, I wouldn't trade it for the world. No, I mean, for me, I set records in the first year of the league, so I, it's not it's not really a record. <laughs> like, it's just I was I did it first. Um, you know, to me, I think at this point in my career, all I care about is winning. Um, winning and helping people. Uh, if I can help people, you know, expand their game and grow and instill confidence in people and win some games along the way, um, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, you know, um, it was probably the toughest year of my basketball career, you know, sitting out and, you know, watching my friends be able to enjoy the game and play um, and just be a part of that camaraderie. And um, I'm just happy to be back, you know. My main focus when I signed wasn't to, you know, come here and um, try to prove myself. Um, but I just wanted to come back and be healthy and um, maintain throughout the entire season and be my be best version of myself. Uh, it's nothing, nothing serious. It's just uh, something I started doing at home, and, and my son does it now too. So it's, <laughs> that's kind of what's keeping me doing it. Is he every time I make a shot, he does it. So yeah, I mean, I've been around music my whole life. My dad was, you know, an artist back when I was a kid, and he had a couple opportunities of signing with labels and stuff. Um, we sung at the Hornets game. Um, a few times, you know, like he was a, a pretty good artist back then in the day. So, you know, to see that and um, to still be able to, you know, have the love for music um, just as much as I do basketball and um, just try to be the best I can in everything I do. Last year I dropped my first album, um, you know, kind of getting new to the music scene and um, building myself up as far as that aspect. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to improve in music just like I am in basketball and trying to find new ways to um, express myself. And, you know, whatever comes to mind, I'm going to put it on wax and try to, you know, make sure other people can hear it and get a little insight on my life and hopefully it can help them too.
I really wanna know who got the dumber flows. When the music get the flow and I'll stop blowing those. Just to ease my mind when pressure's on. Just so you can tell your bestie this your favorite song in my wrong. Just so you can post my album on your Insta and you text me that I miss you. I hate it, it's all kosher. One question yeah. about Taco. What kind of music do you listen before again? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Listen to him, go get that. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go get that. It's a good teammate. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd be remiss if I didn't point. My wife has the craziest shoe collection of any, I would put hers up against anybody in the world. <laughs> so, wow. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, it kind of, you know, I've always been one, but, um, you know, she's kind of, elevated that to a different level uh, but yeah our, our house is our whole basement's full of shoes and shoe boxes and stuff and so um, it's just it's something we enjoy together and um, you know our son has I don't know how, I don't I'd be embarrassed to count the amount of shoes he has <laughs> uh, but yeah I mean that's just that's one of our I guess hobbies is collecting shoes and, and getting new stuff all the time I can't even talk about that because someone might run in the house. <laughs> While we go home. Uh, well, well, no, no um, we have, uh, I don't know, we, I mean, we both have the Dior Ones. Um, we both have a pretty extensive Kobe collection. So there's a uh, probably pick from any of those. Um, I don't know. I, we, we have pretty much, you name it, we have it. So uh, it's, uh, like I said, it's something we enjoy doing. It's probably not super practical, but. Uh, at the end of the day, it's what we like, so. Is it any your favorite shoes in this whole collection? Oh, man. Um, I don't know. I, honestly, I like, I just, I like certain, like I'll like like a Jordan 1 or a Jordan 4 or something. And so, so it's just, the, yeah, the, like the silhouette, I, I just, you know, I don't really have like a favorite shoe per se. It's just I have like different silhouettes that I like and different different brands, different collabs and stuff, so. The Jordan 1 silhouette is my favorite, you know, I think it's the most comfortable, most um, versatile. You can wear, wear, wear them with anything. You can wear them to the gym, you can wear them with jeans, and uh, I just think it's basically the perfect shoe in my eyes. Perfect silhouette, actually. He would know better than me. <laughs> uh, I mean, obviously the guys that have you know the shoe deals out here that are able to get Kobe's and stuff yeah. um, have a lot of stuff. I think the big thing with shoes is it's really just what you like. It's what you prefer. It's what's comfortable for you and stuff. I don't think there's really like a like hey that guy is doing it bigger than this guy. Like it's yeah. at the end of the day like some guys. I think it's pretty cool that like you know like Justin or you know Chenya those guys have like deals with Puma and Asics and stuff and like that's cooler than going out and buying shoes. You know what sure. I mean? So. Oh, yeah. um, for me, I'm just like, you know, whatever guys like and, and whatever's comfortable and stuff, just, just do what, uh, what, what makes you, you. Man, it's, it's a couple of things, you know, I didn't think that people would be as nice as they were, you know, uh, people have been welcoming um, me here to Taiwan, um, you know, despite the other people that was in the comments on Instagram, I think you know, for the most part, it's been pretty smooth in that regard. For my family, everybody showed respect to my family and welcoming them, them here too. So, um, like I said, I'm forever thankful for the opportunity to even be able to play basketball again, let alone be in a different country and embrace myself into their culture. So, uh, I love Taipei. Taipei is one of my favorite cities in the world. Um, so, uh, I'm grateful to be closer. Um, you know, living 30 minutes away instead of living in Taichung or Kaohsiung, um, some of the other places I've been. So uh, being able to, to go there and spend time and hang out and stuff more frequently is, uh, is something I think is cool. What's up, Pilot fans? If you're interested in finding more about our team and updates, subscribe to our YouTube and follow our official Instagram page. Make sure you like the video and leave a comment. You might have a chance to win one of these awesome cups. Nice cups. Follow our Instagram or your Instagram? Uh, 
Everyone. <laughs> uh, I mean, I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay. Uh, Say it in English or in, in Chinese? English. Oh, oh, yeah, that's easy. Hey, Pilots fans! If you're interested in finding more about us and updates, follow our official Instagram and our YouTube. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> A Taiwanese teacher. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>